Good morning, you guys. Today's a Monday and I'm feeling like it could be any day. <laughs> um, as you guys may or may not know, California went back into lockdown with certain businesses, which Jim being one of them. So we're still stuck at home and it's okay, but it's all right. You need to get out of this funk and I need to get out of this funk. So of course I'm starting off my morning with focus. Okay, it's coming in very slowly. There we go. It's a matcha and this is the way I make it, okay? I'm gonna grab a teaspoon. It's grandma and Taiko behind me, but grandma doesn't want to be on camera. So we'll do it this way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab. Here. Here. I'm gonna add a little bit more, because I need a little bit more of a kick. Okay, now from here, you need to get a whisk. And one of these, these are the best. It's a hot water dispenser and it keeps your water at either 208, 195, or 175. We always keep ours at 208. I absolutely love it. That's crazy, on the screen, this is flashing, but it's not flashing in person. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will tell me why it is, but. So I'm gonna put just a little bit, just enough to cover the matcha. And then, I'm gonna whisk. I'm gonna whisk it all. I'm a gambler. I'm gonna whisk it. If I can make myself cringe, y'all. I make myself cringe. You can hear grandma speaking Spanish to Taika. Okay, so it's nice, frothy. You get, you get some air in there. It smells delicious, you guys. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into my fridge. I can't wait for Yosemite. I gotta tell you guys a funny story about that. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because it's so funny. Okay, and I'm gonna get creamer. You can get any creamer you want. This so happens to be one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna add a generous amount. Because I like mine a little bit sweeter. You know, I like my creamer with a little bit of matcha. And then, finish it off with more water. Usually I wouldn't do this because we splash everywhere, but you get me. And now, you're ready to start your morning. I absolutely love it because it doesn't give me the jitters. It doesn't make me too crazy caffeinated. I don't get that nasty breath. I don't feel dehydrated. It's just all goodness. And I've told you guys so many times, I try to avoid coffee because I just don't like the flavor. Like, ugh. <sighs> it's bomb. Okay. I think right now, Taika and Grandma are learning. Look at this. Mm -hmm. He's learning about what? Colors? Oh yeah, his colors. Abby is warm and cozy in her yellow blanket. Yellow blanket. Circle everything that's yellow. Yellow. Good job. Hey, your shirt's yellow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, so let's see how the rest of today is. It's gonna be a lot of meetings and um, office work. So I'm gonna try to give myself more fun breaks because I've just been feeling like it's just weighing me the hell down because I'm just so zoned in on it. So I'm gonna just try to take more frequent breaks. Maybe like one every two hours or something. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. Wait, what's happening? Show mama your whistle. Go, go. Boo! Are you whistling? Yeah. He said I, because I was thinking this pillow, you know my back kind of hurts. So I need lumbar support. Get away. Mama's working here. Thank you. So I took this pillow and then he goes, you're in trouble. But Papa, yeah. Go over there. Mama has a meeting. Come on. No, just no, no. I do have no, a meeting. Be Thanks, Mom. Yeah. I'm in my office now prepping for my first meeting of the day. And I look like shit. I look like this. Straight up, just PJs. Well, I didn't sleep in these, but like my home PJs. There's like bed PJs and there's home PJs. Isn't that horrible? Ugh, I can't wait to get ready. You dye my hair, you guys see all my freaking white hairs. I was gonna say white heads. White hairs, ugh, I'm just a mess, y'all. But I've been putting my hair in a French braid. 
or whatever the hell you want to call this thing. You see that? I'm probably going backwards. I'm so sorry. But, um, I've been liking it. It keeps my hair out of my face. Something about my hair texture changed and I don't know what happened. Like, what happened? Maybe it's just karma or it's just caught up to me for being so rude to my hair my whole life. I would like, before, excuse me, I even knew flat irons existed. I'm talking about back in like the late 90s, early, not even early 2000s, honestly the late 90s. Um, I would literally iron my hair to get it straight. Like I wanted my hair so straight um, that I would, I had really long hair like up to here. And um, I would get the ironing board, flop my hair on it, and then I would iron it with an iron. Like that's how fucking horrible I was to my hair. And then I bleached it several times and like I've cut it, I've shaved it off. My hair is like to me right now. So I get it. I get it. I just wasn't ready for it to happen. You know? And now that it's here, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> so if I start wearing wigs, you guys understand why. Nah, it's not even that big of a deal. I don't care. But it's just weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's just been weird. It's, I don't know if it was after having Taika that, you know, I started noticing all these differences. Or it's just the age bracket that I'm moving into. Because I'm going to be 36, 37 this year. So I don't know if that's just what happens after your 35s. I don't know. Help. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a good strategy. You guys, this right here is not even a frisbee. Tyga just gets it. It's a plate. We got these from IKEA. They come in different colors. Let me see. This is a plate. Frisbee. It's not a frisbee. It's a plate, dude. Oh. Oh my God. All right, so you guys remember when I was like, yeah, I'm going to take breaks and do all that stuff. Well, none of that happened. I think this is probably my second break of the day, and it is now 6 o'clock. When I first talked to you guys, it was 8 a.m. I only took a break to eat, and then I scarfed whatever I was eating down, and then I went back to work. And now, this is when Mama goes home. But she doesn't want me to show her on camera, so. She doesn't want me to show her on camera, so. There she is. But don't tell her I showed her to you guys, okay? Don't tell her. Don't tell her. But look, do you guys notice what I put here? Look at my stone collection. It's everything you need. Don't ask me what each of these mean because I just got it because it looks like it would help. It's been, 2020 has been such a crazy year that I'm like getting into anything to make this year feel good. <laughs> it's not horrible, but it definitely sucks. And I know I was like, stones, if you can attract all the good energies and elements in my favor, in my direction, please do so. And I decided to put it here, because initially I had it um, over our bed. Because I was like, oh, well, at least I spent a minimum of six hours there, so that should be good. And I'm almost like, oh, you want to put it in a place where you spend a lot of time. And initially she said to put it in my, um, ooh, look, I was going to hit him. To put it in my office because I do spend a lot of time in there, but I don't know. I figured everyone could benefit from putting it here. So here it is. If you were wondering, and if you're still wondering, um, I got it at Urban Outfitters. It was like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah. Everything that we're teaching this kid is coming back to haunt us, and it's like backfiring. I put this pillow down because it fell down over here. And I put it here, and he's like, wait a second, put it back. Hey, stop it. Thank you. Thank you for keeping track of all the rules in the house. And what's cool is he's also like the new cuss police now, watch. Thank you for putting that stupid pillow back. Bad word. What's a bad word? Stupid. Can't say it, huh? Good job. What? What is that? Oh, it's like music videos? You're just calling out the colors? Green. You silly. That's oh, because he's pressing the remote control, so he thinks he's controlling it. You little monkey cheeto. 
He's all wet and I'm all wet because we just finished uh, swimming and showering. And it feels really good. Oh, there it is. Did uh, Jill tell you guys about, like we had these neighbors peeking over our wall, like we saw on our cameras at 11 p.m. at night, like they were peeking over. And I'm like, what the hell? So to um, deter that, I found these things on Amazon. They're actually technically like bird spikes, but I guess it also works well for bad guys too. So I bought these spikes that I could put on the edge of the wall back there. You see that wall? So that people don't peek over and they actually hurt a lot, which is awesome. So what I'm hoping for is I put this little spike on the edge of the wall, right? Like this. And then when they're climbing, they're not like, they're not like viewing it correctly. And as soon as they put all their weight on, it goes, and they go, ah, they learn never to come again. So I'm gonna line that entire wall with this and I bought six boxes of these I found these on Amazon so for those of you guys who got a freaking nosy neighbor and these are just like a bunch of like stupid kids like we have this empty lot next to our house and they would just go there there's always kids that are like drinking in the construction site kids doing donuts in their car peeking over people's um, yard and we don't like that so like we want our privacy because it's our backyard and our Walls are six feet tall, so we don't expect people to peek over, but if they do, sorry guys, but we're gonna squish your fingers because you shouldn't be peeking over anyways, but really glad these guys came in. What are you doing? What are you doing going all fast? Are you thirsty? Yes, coffee. Coffee? You can't be drinking no coffee. No, 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 that's mama's coffee. You can't be drinking coffee. You need water. If you drink coffee, you're not gonna be sleeping for days. Milk. Is that water or is that milk? Milk. Oh, that's milk? How long has that been out here? No, no, don't drink it this anymore. Papa, get a new one. You crazy? Aww. No, I'll get you a new water. Aww. Aww. Oh yeah, check out this other thing I got on Amazon. So usually Amazon style products, and uh, what I mean by that is it's like some weird name, and when you read the product description, the grammar's all messed up. I assume it's made in China and it's like a direct Amazon Alibaba relationship type stuff. So Amazon products, I usually am very suspect of because um, they fall apart. It's made in China, extremely mass produced, but I did need like a massage gun and I didn't want to spend like a thousand bucks. I saw this on Amazon. It's called Elpo, once again, the Chinese weird word, not sponsored. Um, and this was like two or three hundred bucks. So I was like, this is way cheaper. And even the name M3 Pro, they probably just go, oh, MP3, M3 Pre, 3 MP, MP Pro. There we go. Let's do that one. And they probably just made it up. But this is actually really good. And I hurt my back recently and I've been using this. And it charges really fast and has three speeds. Oh, got to turn on first. Watch, check it out. See, that's at one speed. And then, and then. That yeah, works really good and like literally like maybe like 10 minutes worth of foam rolling on my lower back I can get my lower back upper glute just as loose in like 30 seconds that's literally how crazy it is like I go one round and I'm already like whoa that feels good so if you guys have aches or tight muscles or whatever and you know like a good massager and you can like reach all the way like back here highly recommend um, Really, really surprised me. I thought it was gonna be one of those cheap Amazon products, and uh, they, they actually like did a really good job. And we also got some dinner delivered. Still trying to stick to my diet, and I know I told you guys this before, but I get the enlightened from um, BJ's because it's real. It's just a bunch of veggies, chicken, brown rice, low in calories, and trying to be uh, lean because. We're gonna go to Yosemite next week, and you better believe when I travel, I go ham. So I'll probably be gaining a good five pounds. So the goal is to lose at least a couple pounds this week, even more than I am already trying to, so I can balance it out. It's too quiet over there, what the hell's going on? Remember, it's too quiet, I get scared.
Are you reading? My good sleep boy. Time. Sleep time reading? Yeah, I'm sleeping the moon. Oh, that is the moon. Oh, I can't believe I assumed that. I thought you were up to no good. So getting Taika a part of our BJ's was a big fail because I think the flavors are too adult. It's like limey and lemony and thymey. Yeah, and then it's like uh, the artichokes and the artichokes are really tough. So he's like trying to like chew through it. But I also know that grains are good for his little tummy digestion. I know, but it, they use like this oil and like all these herbs and spices and stuff. It's too and strong, it's, huh? Yeah, it's too I'm gonna nuts. stick to his yummy sopita that he yeah. loves. The sopita. One time I tried to hook him up with the sopita. I even put a slice of cheese and cut up like little pieces of meat. And I think that was too fancy to eat anyway. He just likes the old school OG sopita. Look at this guy. You cute guy. Can you believe you made him? I can't at all. I always look at him and I'm like, how did you, how? And then I see him, and then I see a little bit of you, a little bit of me, and I'm like, what? Skinny. Blows my mind. Bully. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to call him out. What? <laughs> no, I'm not calling him. I'm just proud of him. This fool smashes Sobita in like literally 10 seconds. The minute we're like, hey, Tiger, you can get some ice cream. That's calling him out. Well, I guess I'm calling your ass out then. Because <laughs> this fool is straight you said, I'm smashing it now. You couldn't wait. Oh my god. Well, it's because he's, he's my. He's, <laughs> he's shaking his head. Well, because he's just like his papa. His papa loves ice cream. So I think it's so cuny that he's just like me. Big cuny guy. like ice cream like your papa. I got my healthy ice cream. This thing's like only like 90 calories or something. It's not as delicious as that. Freaking Foster's Freeze cookies and cream. <laughs> you didn't see what he was doing? Yeah. I love this dude. I love him too. I called him a dude and he was like, don't call me dude. And I'm like, no, you're my special dude. And he goes, okay. Are your mama special knows. dude? I don't even think he knows what special Like, are your mama special dude? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> my special dude. <laughs> Fireworks! Yeah. Oh, isn't that interesting? It's July. <laughs> like the the, the like end of it. it. It's the end of July. That's oh, a big one. But you still got it. Way to go, dude. <laughs> 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 Does he think it's funny when he has to stick his uh, fork into the ice cream because it's hard? I'm just playing his game. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you spilled it. Uh oh. Okay, we gotta put it away. No. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to bed, monkey. Say excuse me, huh? Time to go to bed, monkey, with, with your freaking little burps. Big kitty. Okay, let's go. Hug you, hug you. Hug you. Tell everyone good night, monkey. Hey, monkey, tell everyone good night. Say good night, dirty cheese. Good night, dirty cheese. <laughs> okay, Papa's gonna go. Papa's gonna put the camera away. Okay. Okay, Papa's gonna come. All right, thank you guys for following us on such a cutie day today. We will see you tomorrow. Good night.